Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about how to use arrays in C++. So how do you make an array in C++? Well, first you need a program, obviously. So just like making a variable, to create an array, you need to follow the same syntax. But there isn't any special variable type for an array. Instead, you just have to use the regular ones. Like if you want to use an integer array, you specify int. So let's create an integer array. So int array, ARR, -R, that will be the name, square brackets. And now I need to specify a number. What will this number be? This will be the number of elements you put in the array. You can only have a fixed number of elements for arrays, unlike in Python, where the list you can have as many elements as you want. So for an array, you can set, say, 5. If you set 5, you cannot change this number. You can have at most 5 elements and at least five elements, it will stay the same regardless. Now this array won't, will be useless if we don't add anything in it. So let's add something. So unlike in Python where you have functions to add things into a list, for C++, if you want to add anything with an array, you need to use the basic syntax, ARR square bracket, the index equal to whatever you want to keep because this is an integer array i can only keep integers so i'll keep i don't know five so i can do the same for uh, all the other elements so array one equals 10 array two i mean array of two equals 15 array of 3 equals 20 array of 4 equals 25 so now we have filled this entire array now how do we print this unlike in python where you actually uh, can print it directly in c++ the only way to print it is to use a for loop but what happens if you print it directly if I bothered printing directly, this would happen. You'd get this whole assortment of characters and numbers. So this is the actual list, I mean array, but this is the array that the computer sees. If you want the actual data, you need to use a for loop and iterate through each of the items. However, you can print uh, specific items. For example, if I want the third element, I can print array of two. You can see that? So if I wanted to print a full array, I'd have to use a for loop. Now, I will cover for loops in a future video, but the point is using a for loop, you can print the whole array. So I'll just create a for loop. And let's see what this gives. You see that? It printed the whole array. So this for loop, you may notice that it goes all the way up to 4, from 0 to 4. Notice the less than sign. If I set any number less than this, it will just print, in this case, 0 to 3. That's fine. But if I set it to print 0 to 5, you'll notice it will give some strange thing. In Python, what would happen is, if you set any wrong index, it will give you an error. But in this case, it doesn't say anything. I'll use a 
different thing i won't use the for loop so count array say if i mentioned six oops if i mentioned six instead of anything else i get this weird number and you can see it always changes every time you run it. What's going on? Well, what's going on is that C++ is trying to access an index which doesn't exist, even though it knows that. I mean, this compiler is telling it's past the end of the array. Which is why if you're coding in C++, you must be careful about the index. If you mention the wrong number, instead of getting an error, you'll be getting some weird number, which is why you may notice some calculations are wrong. Let's say I wanted to access the fifth element and multiply it by, I don't know, five. The fifth element is at index four. So area four into five would be the correct syntax. This will give us our desired result. But if we ended up putting, say, the number five, it won't work it will instead try doing something with a number that doesn't really exist so that's not what we want which is why it is important to keep tabs on which index you're using now unlike a list in python an array in C++ doesn't have the ability to remove an element. That's right, you can't remove an element from an array. So, maybe, so you may be thinking, then how do I get rid of it? The answer is, well, you can't. You can't just get rid of it. There might be one way. If you know what element you're trying to get rid of or the index you're trying to get rid of, you can make another array, which is the same as the original array, with the with that element removed but that will be a little complicated which is why c++ has something called vectors but that will be covered in the next video okay let's say i don't want to do all of this i don't want to mention all of these on a separate line what would i do in that case i can set it at the time i'm initializing the variable so i can set int array with five elements equal to curly brackets and all the data goes in there so one two three four five there you go run this you see that five is the last element and into five we get 25 now, note that if you're using this syntax, you don't really need to mention this number here because it is already mentioned how many you're going to keep here. So, if I wanted to create another array, let's say array 2, I don't need to mention the number as long as I'm going to mention the elements of that array on the same line. You see, it gives no error. And now I can mess with this array as well. Let's run this. There you go. So, the problem with an array is that it is not flexible, it is static. Once you set it, you can't do anything with it afterwards. You can access it, you can print it, and you can sort of change the values, you can do that. But if you want to do more, like inserting elements and removing elements, well, an array can't do that. Which is why C++ has what is called a vector. A vector is like a list in Python. But vectors will be covered in a different video. So this is how you use arrays in C++. Thank you.